Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Round 9. And if you'd like to post your take on today's sketch, use hashtag 30DSCBL9 on Instagram or paste it, paste it, post it in the Facebook group. And this is the sketch we'll be using today, and it's by Scrappy Adam. And I'm going to have four photos instead of three, no journaling. I'm going to have a little sort of kind of cluster in each one, and I'm going to have something down the middle. And these are the four photos I'm going to use, and I'm going to use that bow I'm pointing at right there. Some balloons, they're very old Sizzic ones, and my mind's eye, pebbles, and simple stories. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to use. I think the I just kind of mixed everything up. The colors were similar, so I needed scraps for my balloons, so I pulled them from everywhere. I'm laying the photos like I plan on using them. I'm going to number them wrong later, but I'm going to lay them like I plan on them going. I just now noticed I labeled them wrong while I was posting the photos into the video. They are correct in the way they should be numbered at the end, but the numbers are wrong. I corrected it here right now. I just now corrected it. But I haven't got any pictures of that. I The papers were all a little on the thin side to have foam tape. So I cut out white paper also. Well, cardstock. It's not paper. It's cardstock. And adhered it to the back of the balloon. So if I was going to put foam tape under them, they could stand the, the height better. <laughs> they would look better. They wouldn't kind of curl around the edges. A couple of the scraps I had wasn't quite big enough, like that green one right there. The top got cut off. So I'm just hanging it off the end of the page like I intended it to be that way. Well, I kind of sort of did because I knew it wasn't quite big enough. But I wanted that paper. I, like I said, I used both of those paper pads and I think a couple of 3 by 4 cards also. And I'm putting, well, it's crochet thread. It's not string. So it's a little lighter than most strings would be probably since it is crochet thread. And I'm wrapping it around the little ends of the balloons. And then I'm also highlighting them with my gel pen, which one's going to get where it's not working very well. So I'll use another one. And you know how they get after a little while. I've had these longer than I've ever had any. I bought them both at the same time because I thought I'd try the other one and see how it worked. And because it wasn't the other one wasn't lasting as well as I wanted. And what does it do? It lasts just as good. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get some more pretty soon, though. I got, well, most of my balloons on there. So I thought I'd make a gift sitting at the bottom. Since this is a birthday party, it's Charlie and Reagan's third birthday party. These photos were just of Charlie because I thought, that's a disaster waiting to happen. And so I was kind of keeping an eye on her with my camera. I was correct. Spoiler alert. I was correct. The bow I used for the package is actually, well, it's from a Stampin' Up card kit. And I hardly ever use that, but I use this bow much more. So I went ahead and cut some, well, one strip <laughs> of matching paper so I could make it look like I had fancy wrapping on my gift. And yeah, so I put three down through there. And oh, and then there was a couple of those little doggy balloon things, you know, dog art, dog art, balloon art. So I figured I'd just nestle them right in there with the other balloons. And here's where I'm making sure my photos are in the correct order. I first figured, you know, you read left to right. So I figured I'd go the top left to the right for number two, then down to three, then to four. Then I got to thinking this was a half and half layout and I should have number two underneath. So I put them the way that, you know, I plan for the half and half but then when I put the numbers on apparently I did it left to right so they were wrong but they're corrected now and they will be wrong in the photos you'll just have to 
have to not follow the numbers when you look at the photos. Of course, I'm going to put them in order when I do them at the end so y'all will see them in order. But, yeah, I, I, I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Each one of the um, photos in Scrappy Adams' um, sketch has a, like a little cluster there. Only instead of the little cluster, cluster, I'm going to have a balloon with the hashtag and the number. And I'm using the Happy Life for that. I'm going to use them also for my title. But while I'm putting them on there, I want to mention that down there below, you'll see the links to everybody else that is doing the Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. And like I said before, there are several that's done them every single day. And once this one is uploaded... Oh, I'll feel relief because I'll have it every day because tomorrow's is already done. But, uh, yeah, 30 days of sketches, 30 new layouts to go in my albums. Well, the kids' albums mostly, but because I've been working on doing them. And, oh, my title, my title. My title is, Oops, There Goes Ronald, my, my, my Ronald. Oh, I better start it over. Oops, There Goes My Ronald McDonald Cake. And then, I was thinking of that song, High Hopes, and, you know, with the little ant and the rubber tree plant, and this is the line where, oops, there it goes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I did the title. And so, yeah, if you uh, think about that and you can look at the photos in the correct order, you, you will understand. <laughs> but... It was a fun sketch to do. And it's perfect for four photos. Well, I guess perfect for three also and a journaling card too. But uh, I thought, well, I was thinking about a couple I did for the story time one that Sarah Scraps used to do. And you, I think you had to do a half and half page, but you also had to do a story on one side and I think a photo on the other so I did uh, the Seven Dwarfs song and had my grandson cleaning the kitchen. And I thought, well, I could tell a story with this since it is a half and half one. And I thought, what photos do I have that tell a story? Because, you know, I need three. Well, I needed all four. So no journaling. But I thought I'll make a title that tells the story in a way. So, yeah. That's what I was going for so that I wouldn't be using a journaling tag and I could use that space for my photo and just use the title. And it, it, it between the photos and the title, I think it does tell the story. I have a die that has confetti, but it's pretty good size and I did not have much room left on my layout for it. So I use uh, sequins instead to, to sprinkle around like confetti. But there's the first photo, and it is Charlie with her mama. And she gave her that great big old, and I'm going to call it spoon, because that's what she used it for. And there she is with her Ronald McDonald cake with that thing in her hand. Huge, right? Yeah. Like she's going to be able to control using the hat. I, I thought she just... Take a big chunk out of the cake. No. Here's her cake. Nice big piece. And she actually has a fork too. Because she was given a fork to go with it. But that is what she's going to make a decision to use. And here's her plate. Hanging off the table already. Just a little bit. And I told her. I said Charlie. Your plate's going off the side. I said you need to scoot it over. Well. I no more got the words out of my mouth. I was on the other side of, well, two tables over. And because they had like four scooted together, and there it went. Here she is checking it. I did not catch it going off the table, but I did catch her <laughs> immediately looking over the side. So, yeah, a disaster waiting to happen. And here's my balloons, my big long cluster of balloons and yeah and those cute little doggy balloons uh dog, punch art punch art i'm so used to saying punch art did i say punch art earlier i probably did from habit balloon art 
but if you leave a comment down there below i'll try to get back with you and if you like the video and hit a thumbs up i'd appreciate it and if you are not subscribed to my channel i would love to have you subscribe and those of you already are thank you so much but have a happy scrappy week enjoy tomorrow and i think the next day is crafty maggie's eighth anniversary thing i'm not sure if i'll get a layout done by then but uh take care and have fun. Bye.